Hi, this is Christian and Alyssa, and we are at the uh, Boiling Spring RV Resort right outside of Dixon, Missouri, and we're here to tell you all about our new favorite purchase. Which is the kayak that we are currently sitting in on the river, just feet away from the Boiling Spring for which this campground is named. This is the Intex K2, Challenger K2 inflatable kayak. It's a two-person kayak, as you can see. And it's pretty comfy. Yeah. There's a room for both of us and our backpack of food and water. And things that we like about this kayak. Um, it inflates really quickly. They've got a special valve on it that's one way is just for inflation and the other way you unscrew it and it deflates really quickly. Yeah, it was really easy to inflate. The whole process, setting it up from the bag. I filmed a really cool time lapse, which is probably playing right now. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes from when you pack it up. And the great thing is it packs up really, really small, so you can just throw it in whatever tiny car you have. Uh, it doesn't take up any room. Mm -hmm. It's also got a nice cargo net on the front, which we are using right now to hold our tripod, but we had life jackets in there, water, snacks, sunglasses, all that good stuff. Um, the seats are separate, inflatable, and you can they've got kind of a buckle. You can cinch it to pull forward more or lean back more. Seats are very comfortable. So the one thing that uh, is interesting about this kayak is it has a skeg on the bottom, which Alyssa taught me is the little, the little. Fin it's the rudder, the basically. Yeah. yeah. So it, uh, you need it because otherwise you start spinning. Uh, with it in place, it's great. It's just like a regular kayak. Uh, but if you're going over really shallow water, because it's inflatable and made of rubber, the skeg will kind of twist to go underneath the rocks, which hasn't had any problems yet. And we've taken it out for. I mean, we've been kayaking on this for probably like five or six hours now at this point. Uh, but I'm worried that that's gonna be the point that it tears because it'll be, we'll, we'll go over some shallow rock and it'll twist and then it'll rupture once it's twisted. But we've had no problems with it yet. And in the Amazon reviews, I've also heard that some people have, this guy gets lost if they happen to go over something and it pops it out. Um, and the fix for that is to drill a hole through it and then tie a string around it to the kayak so that you don't lose it. So we might do that in the future as well, but. Overall though, it's great. It's probably the best $100 that we've spent on this trip. We've gotten tons of enjoyment out of it mm -hmm. and uh, we're able to go and it's already paid for itself because we have we would have rented a kayak. Yeah, and it's like $45 normally for a two-person kayak. Yeah, so yeah. we went out twice already so it paid for itself. Right. Uh, Again, yeah. this is Christian and Alyssa from GoGoJenko at gogo.gen.co or gogojenko.com. We're viewing the Intex Challenger K2 kayak.